How are you? Are you well? I am well. It's been a very long day in the big smoke. Why? What have you been doing today? I've had done about nine, or I think this is number nine. Okay, today. lucky number nine. Lucky number nine, yeah. So ha- the best or last? Absolutely. Is this the last one? It is, yeah. Have you been offered a cup of tea? Yeah, but I don't need one. I'm like shaking from the caffeine intake oh, today. Okay. I was like <laughs> that yesterday when we had Basil Brush in the studio. I was so excited about <laughs> it. Was it. You? Yeah, yeah, it's great. You remember Basil Brush? I do, You're probably yeah. too young. No, oh, no, okay. I'm 33. Yeah, I know you are, but Ben is uh, 40. Oh, and he's oh, just, yeah. Yeah. Come why? On. Why? Why you say that? We thought he was older. I'm 36. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> How do you think he is? Robin, you're How old do you think I am? Don't. Don't say anything. <laughs> No. By the way, before you answer, you look amazing. No, I don't. <laughs> right. how, old is, how old do you think I am, Molly? 38. 38? Yeah. We're always going to be friends. Honestly, Thanks, Molly. Yeah. Honestly. Brown Ma- nose. Why? Oh, no, I'm being a brown nose. Ma- right now. <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming in. No problem. Listen, the last time we spoke to you, I can't remember, it wasn't that long ago, but it was just before we were... I think it was like the first of Feb. Okay, so just before your last fight, mm-hmm. right? And I remember talking to you, actually. I don't know if it was because it was just before the fight mm-hmm. um, and maybe you you're a little bit more quiet before a fight or because so much was on the line because when we spoke to you about it you were actually talking about if you lost which of course you did you went on to win quite convincingly actually in the mm-hmm. end but you were talking about you might you might think about calling it a day yeah and I was going to jib it in um, I just think what I had said is the reason as to why I'd lost at the previous weight is I was completely outsized so if I drop down a weight and then I don't pull through then I, w- I felt like I was going to be a bit of a fraud. Do you know what I mean? I know anything can happen when you get in there, but I'm just, I just knew. And I was saying to you, I was like, I know I'm not going to lose. I know I'm not going to lose, but I knew um, I had to put on a performance. Do you know what I mean? But I was just saying, if I didn't, I'm, I'm not, I'm out, I'm done. But I knew at this weight, after what I've been performing like in the gym, I knew what I was capable of. Mm. So at the end of the fight, I was just like, Phew. I knew that. I knew I could do it, but thank God I finally yeah. done it, you know. Is straw weight going to be now the, the weight for you from moving forward? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, I just know that's where I was optimised. Like, how as an athlete, um, say sometimes I, I fly weight when I punch and I've thrown everything in. I was getting more tired and things because I'm like, it was laboured because I was carrying like a bit of timber, do you know what I mean? And then when it, <laughs> I, I, oh, I was proper anorexic chick for that last one. I, I mean, I was in the best shape of my life, but it, it took everything that I could to make that efficiently and correctly and not and not make it wrong. Do you know, I, I only cut two pounds the night before, which is probably less than I even cut a fly weight. And I, I like, I was just more efficient. I was just hit and move, hit and move. And my weight, uh, my power and my speed carried down. So okay. I, um, to hit like a fly weight, but to be fighting straw weights, yeah, I think you could just see the difference. Like yeah. me, me wrist is like my hands still sore from some of them shots that I landed. Wow, you know what I mean? so, uh, that that um, shot, the the landing of it, won you fifty thousand pounds for performance of the night. It's mm-hmm. a lot. Of, I mean, that's crazy money, right? Fifty grand. Yeah, I was saying actually, we lost four wins. I've won four fifty grand bonuses, which is is. Can, I don't really know if many women have done that. Can I can I ask without being too intrusive, mm-hmm. right? And you can tell me if you want, but where where does that rate amongst a percentage of your earnings for that night anyway? You can have a little look for that online. Okay. Our, our wages no, what, are posted uh, online. Yeah, but what, my question is: Is that like above me on what you're getting paid, or is it a small percentage of it? Oh, it's a small percentage of what I. Oh, okay, use. wow. Mm. Okay, I mean, fifty grand is still a lot of money, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. But either way, it's nice to pick up such a lump of well, money. Well, do you know what, lads? I was like. <clears throat> we had all got on the ale after the fight, so we're out in an Irish pub having a, a few bevies. And uh, my manager, oh, meatball, you got the thing. And I'm buzzing, like, yes. And I, there's a video of me, of me, and I even say, up the toffees when I got the call. And um, people are going, oh, look at you, as if you'd be buzzing about winning. And I was like, I said to say, I could find 20 quid on the floor and I'd be buzzing. I was mm. like, but... 50 grand when you come from where I, I come from, that's more than some people can earn in two years. That's more than some people can earn in a year. I was like, why are people like that? And I was just like, be happy for people. Yeah, but whatever succeeding. amount of money, you're always going to get people mad about everything. You, no, you, you, you post a, you know, saying on, on X or whatever it's called, uh, have a great day, everyone, you'll get people mad at you. Oh, no, it did, yeah, yeah, like it's that ridiculous. happens. Like, have a brilliant Monday, go yeah. chase your dreams. How dare you suggest <laughs> I have a yeah. great Monday? Oh, yeah. And what's wrong with Tuesday? Um, listen, today, of course, is International Women's Day. How important is it for you to celebrate women? I think the more that women have a place, a, a space to to show what we're capable of, it can somewhat inspire the next generation. 
men have an International Men's Day. Do you know what I mean? Mental Health has Mental Health Day. It's just about to raise awareness and in that moment showing opportunities for people to take. And sometimes if a little girl can see that and they go, oh, I can do that, that can change their life. Do you know what I mean? And I just think sometimes when given the opportunity, girls will take it with full hands because we're not always given the same opportunity. And vice versa, there's some situations where boys aren't given the same and when they're given the opportunity, they can take it. But right now, today is our day and it's just nice to show that given the opportunity, you can do great things. Mm. When you see the impact that the Lionesses have had on young girls in this country mm -hmm. um, and then you fight in the UFC, mm -hmm. do you feel that same recognition goes on in, in the sport that you do? I'm a national team coach for England, Team England and for the senior squad and I've seen from, and I know from medal tallying and from how many people turn up to our squad sessions and how many people come to our gym, save me and Paddy fight the next day how many men and women come in, like you can tell, like, or boxing gyms, Natasha Jonas has just fought in mm, Liverpool. Another one of your fellow... Another scouser, yeah. an Olympian, a woman who's done it all. All praise be to Tash, because she's the best out of us all, but she, like, like when, when we are there and able to perform and people see it, it is like that Wimbledon fever, like, after Wimbledon's finished, you know how many people are going to the tennis mm. courts, it is correct, and... um. If it's visible, you'll know this yourself. Like in inequality, when something is visible, people are able to see it, then they can strive to achieve it, and like they can see that's actually tangible. She's from where I'm from, mm -hmm. but we didn't really have that. I weren't even allowed in gyms when I was coming up, but I was that pig-headed. Like I can imagine a lot of listeners can't even stand me on here, but like you won't, I won't be denied. Like I want to achieve that. I've seen someone do that. I want to do that, and I know that. I've been that today, like just reading some of the messages and there's a fighter from London called Chanel Dyer and she's like basically said like I was her idol and role model and now that we're friends and I help her, now she knows that she can do that for others. So I've seen it firsthand. Mm -hmm. Like it does work, it's a bit of a domino effect, you know what I mean? So, was, was Natasha that for you? Yeah, Natasha and Katie Taylor was 100% that yeah. for me. Because yeah. they, they had that rivalry coming up, do you know what I mean? And I think... It's a little bit different way. It was like never, they wouldn't bath them out of each other. It was utter respect for them too, do you know what I mean? And I think predominantly women's combat sport is that way. And then you'll have a few of us who are a little bit more rough around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like you, Michaela Myers, you, you me, I feel like Savannah Marshall was always really mm. quiet. And then when she fought Clarissa, it was like, oh, I like this Savannah. Mm. It's a bit like juicy. You can sink your teeth yeah. in and you can... It can draw it in, and she ended up selling out the O2. Do you know what I mean? Amazing. Uh, While well, I've got you in the studio, I know you're a big football fan, so mm. we'll talk championship football. Oh, no, Don't oh, you oh, start, you rat man! It's the next season. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big game this weekend. You're playing a team called Manchester United tomorrow lunchtime, uh, live and exclusive on Talk Sport as well. Mm hmm. We good good luck with that. Oh, yeah, thanks. We know you do. You know what? You always do well against United. There's a few. We've got a few bonus well, teams. No, but sometimes we have. Um, we do them in. We just roll them over sometimes, mm. like every two or three seasons. Um, I I love that club. I love the fans. I just, uh, it's just what do you hard. make of Sean Dyche? It says here. See, I've got a cue sheet in front of me, right? So a little bit of help. I don't know who's written it. It says here. I don't know if they want me to get beaten up by you. It says, is Dyche getting away with it a bit? Now, I would never ask that question because I think he's excellent for Everton, I and think I think he'll keep you up. It's horses for courses on what people are good at, and I think he, you have a few managers who you know could normally come and do the job when needed like years ago do you remember like sam allardyce was always we brought in for that kind of yeah. role mm. like people who don't have a big budget who have a few core values and and stick to that and make sure the culture of the club is disciplined and regimented you hold your position you run and you stay tidy and you keep you play it simple that's what he, he lives and dies for, and he's got the respect of everyone. I don't think he's getting away with it. I think when you see the stuff that our club is consistently having to deal with, um, I think he's doing do the you, best with what he's got. Do you think there's a vendetta at, against Everton? Because when we talk if about it... If I say it, no, it, no, if I honest. say yeah, like I absolutely no, no, do, no, no, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely you do. do, yeah. Okay, because when we've do discussed you? this, I, I don't see why there would be one against Everton. So, do you... Okay. And, and, and we've we've talked about it before, and I've said to Everton fans, you just phone see... up and tell me why the Football League and the Premier League would want Everton out of the division, and no one's told me the reason. I just feel like it's to do with the old owners, and I, I just feel like why 
do we get treated the way that we get treated and another team wouldn't? Mm. And then it'll come down to money and what money you get brought into the league and the views and the eyes and obviously... But do you think that's because it's Everton Football Club? Or do you think... I just feel at like the... at the minute we're the one that's being chosen to do that. Absolutely. I think there's... Who else would have the run of luck or... So how many charges did we have put against us? One. Right, how many charges did Man City got? Over 100, yeah. All right, well... What's the difference there? Well, no, we're waiting to so find out the Man City's so, fate. I, no, I agree with you with Man City's So do fate. you think Man City are going to get points taken off Well, them? we've talked about that. I mean, in th- I'm here asking you now, okay. though. In theory... Yeah, no, sh- no. I'm asking <laughs> you a question. Right, Andy, you better answer. No, 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 I will. I will. Or we'll have a scrap outside. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> I'll just no, do you in here. Is, is your... <laughs> Stop diverting and just say yes no, or no. no wasting your, time on the clock. Your question. Is your, your question, do I think or do I think they should? I'm asking, do you... F- I'm asking... Will they or won't they? They probably won't for the wrong reasons. And what are those reasons? They've got too much money to exactly. Too big. And what don't we have? Yeah, but I don't think it's Everton as the club. So that, that's my point. I don't think the FA are going after Everton the club. No, but we're I being made. The we're clubs being get... made the, the scapegoat, the scapegoat okay. or the martyr about it because okay. when you look at Notts Forest and how much worse are they probably done than what we have, mm. and we're still waiting on we're still waiting on that. So. Okay. We're not going to scrap, are we? No, but you've put me in a bad mood. Oh. No. You know I'd, like, I'd, I'd like to see it, though. Do you know what? I'd love you know to what? see it. I just want a Nando's and I want to go back to Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> you know Give what? me a pie and mash, I, actually, <laughs> and then I'll go. I apologise if I put you in a bad oh, mood, but well, nothing compared to what my team would do to you tomorrow. Oh, my God. Good. <laughs> Why did you support Man U? Yeah. Are you a Southerner? Yeah, no, I was born in Sale. I was, yeah. No, but I just want to win that argument. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. I was born in London. Why would you support Because my dad worked for them, so I was always meeting Brian Robson, Gordon Strack and Arnold, Arnold Mew and Gary Bailey. Was Bailey's. they winning in that then? Uh, FA Cups, early 80s, but not leagues. Oh, God, they weren't as so dominant wow. as they wow. have been over the last... <laughs> so glad you're getting this. I support uh, where, where I'm from. Like, if I can support me too. a good team, like... <clears throat> I hope you come third tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> it's a real hope pleasure. You lose fight, it's, yeah. a, it's a real pleasure. Next Thank time, when's your next fight? By the way, do you know yet? When the UFC next comes to England, it'll probably be July. They okay. Come Will you come back and should have a proper chat about you? Is that right? If we're, we're not really... relegated, yeah. Oh, so we'll never see you again. Never oh, mind. Wow. You'll wow. be back. You won't get relegated. You'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. A real pleasure. More from me and Betty Raft right at this live on Drive. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.